Rant and rave, let's start with high school football. We've got three teams from Middle Georgia in the finals on Friday and Saturday. Of course, we'll have complete coverage of the games on Friday right here on the end zone, 11 o'clock. But let's talk about it. Will we have Middle Georgia champions this year? Talk, what do you think? I believe Dublin has the team to do it. I think they may win like 10 championships in a row starting <laughs> this week yeah. since they're moving down. But Warner Robins, yes, they have a great team, great story for Coach Westbrook, but Buford's a different animal. We saw what they did at Jones County. Shut them out. So I don't think uh, Warner Robins will get it done. We may replay this when Warner Robins wins and call me a loser. Now, you know what? I think they're all going to be tough games. I think yeah. you're right. Dublin's probably got the best chance. I think they're unbelievable this year. And But I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be positive and hope that Warner Robins can beat Buford. And we know Cedar Grove's tough because they beat yeah. Beach County. Chris County's got a good team as well. Coach Harbor down there has done a great job. So, But, but just wouldn't it be great to have a couple of Middle Georgia football champions? That would be awesome, and it should be a, a fun couple of days for sure. All right, uh, let's go to college football now. Will Matt Luke be a good offensive line coach to replace Sam Pittman at Georgia? Tucker, I think this is a very good pick. I mean, he was a head coach. He recruited well. He was known as a good offensive line coach before he became the head coach to take over for Hugh Freeze at Ole Miss and they were going through their mess. I think it was a good selection. Yeah, about as good as you could get. I think considering the circumstances, he was already a good assistant coach as an O-line coach. Now he's got the head coach experience, so he sees what Kirby deals with uh, from a certain standpoint. So I think it was a great hire. All right, NFL Falcons and 49ers on Sunday. 49ers are going to kill the Falcons. Maybe people will remember that Dan Quinn needs to be fired after this game on Sunday, Tuck. Yeah, about that 49ers offense against the New Orleans Saints. If they do that to the Saints, what can they do to the Falcons? Mm -hmm. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be awful. All right, finally, how about a Braves question? Is right. Cole Hamels good enough for the Braves rotation, or Tucker, do they need more? Bring him up. You know who you're going to bring up. Come they do, on. Do, they, do, they need do they more. Need? They need more. Who do they well, need? I know who you want. Who do they need? And it's Madison Bumgarner. <laughs> That's who you're going to say, right? I'd well, love to have Madison I Bumgarner. I mean, yeah, he's good. But we've always we always talk about good to great. So you're going to make the next jump. Are you going to stay good. Yeah. Well, but you know what? What scares me is that Washington rotation. You got to kind of keep up with them after bringing Strasburg mm -hmm. back for a billion dollars. So I, I think they need another starter. I wish it would be Bumgarner. I don't think it will be. But yeah, I think they need one more starter. That's Rant and Ray for this week.